welcome to White Threads Floss Tube number 9. Today I will be talking to you about the embroidery that I am wearing and also showing you the Valpel and Heilenbeck linen bandings that I currently have in stock. Um, they're beautiful linen bandings and I thought there were enough of them that it would be worthwhile to show you them all separately. So first of all, today the piece of embroidered clothing that I'm wearing, it's probably fairly obvious, is the shirt that I have on. And you can see that I have embroidered around the yoke. Uh, the embroidery is done in white cotton embroider. Um, and I love wearing this shirt. It's just comfortable and it's got really nice embroidery. So why not? So on to the Valpel and Highland Beck linen bandings. First one I have to show you is this one here, which is the one that I use for the Smoig bookmarks. Um, in my book, Smoig Pandani from Norway. It's six centimeters wide. Um, it's called Article 900. Uh, I have a few Article 900s. They're all this creamy white color. And this one is the six centimeter wide one. So it's got, got 28 threads per inch. Um, and being six centimeters wide, you're going to get two lots of 28 plus a little bit extra. Um, so it means Oh, I don't know, you could work out the thread count of that yourself. Um, so it's a nice creamy colour and it doesn't have anything special at the edges of the fabric. You've just got a, a nice simple selvage there so you can basically stitch right up to the edge. So that's article 900, 6 centimetres wide. The next one I have here is article 975, which has this time um, a hem stitched edge on it it's eight centimeters wide once again it's 28 count um, it is also a creamy white from time to time I have this in white white at the moment it's a creamy white this is the linen banding that I used on the Sardinian um, candle wrap in my book Sardinian Knitted Embroidery so there's that one. Um, now the next one to show you is this one here. This is article 100 and this one is a white white and it's 24 centimeters wide. Once again it's 28 count um, and something like this would be really suitable for working a narrow sampler on a band sampler or something like that. It would mean that you wouldn't have to frame it. You could just hem the top and bottom. You could also hang it on um, bell pull hangers and just have it as a wall hanging on your wall. Uh, for those people who prefer not to display their samplers but just make them and enjoy them looking at them, you could just hem the ends with a pretty hem stitch and then you wouldn't have to do anything with the sides. Uh, if you don't like the white, you could always tea dye it or dye it in some other way so that it's the colour that you want. Okay, so that's the Article 100, 24 centimetres wide. Now this one, we are back to Article 900. So it's the same as the 6 centimetre wide one. This one's 30 centimetres wide. It also is a creamy white. I'll come in as close as I can for you to see the threads on this. It's actually really lovely woven fabric. Um, the threads are quite plump and they are a joy to stitch on. Really lovely to work with. Um, so the next one, now that was 30 centimetres wide. I think I said 30. Anyway, that was 30 centimetres wide. This is the article 900 again, 34 centimetres wide. So just getting that bit wider. So both of these ones would be perfectly suitable for working um, samplers on. You could also use them as table runners um, and just hem the ends and that would be a really lovely way of having a table runner. Um, I'll show you the edge of this again. Again it doesn't really have much of a selvage so you can stitch pretty much right to the edge. Uh, the last one that I have with me today is this one here which is article 3052 and it's 34 centimeters wide. Um, it's a lovely natural coloured linen with stripes down the side. Um, so the way this is woven is that the warp threads going this way are white, the weft ones going this way are natural, and for the stripes here, 
the warp threads are also natural. So you get a light natural for the main part of the fabric and dark natural for the stripes at the side. I've used this one for um, table runners um, with Sardinia knotted embroidery down the centre. It looked beautiful. Uh, you could also use it as a cushion front. Um, I would suggest that you can have the stripy bits either at the sides if it was square or along the top and the bottom if it was rectangular. Um, so that one is 34 centimetres wide. Now I have a couple of others on my website at the moment. I don't have them in stock. However, they are on order from Germany, but because of the current situation, they are stuck there. They can't make it to Australia at the moment. I will be getting more, so you are welcome to order through the website. And as soon as that arrives, I will send it to you. I'm sorry I can't do anything to make it come any quicker. It's just the way it is. They were terribly apologetic. They sent it off to me and then it was returned to them some days later. So they're just going to hold it until the situation improves and then they will send it again. So I don't know how long it's going to be. It will be some time. Who knows? It could be weeks. It could be months. We just don't know what the situation is going to be like. Um, so those are the beautiful Valpel and Highland Beck linen bandings that I have to show you today. There are others on my website. You can find all of them on the website as well. Um, if you have any questions, please just ask me. I hope that you're enjoying this series. If you have any suggestions for things you'd like me to talk about, please let me know. It's always great to have suggestions. Um, and I will see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye.